So, anyway, it's killing me not to check out this new Emotionless and White song. Seen them a few weeks ago, and I mean, even before that, I've been excited for the new music. I've been shouting them out since uh, 570, and might get misconception, obviously, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about the new shit. It's dope. So, I just now realized that the name of the song is actually called Masterpiece. <laughs> I'm to say it like uh, Austin Powers, but I thought everybody was just talking about like, oh, it's another masterpiece by Chris, you know, just tearing shit up, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you expect? But, come to find out the name of the song is Masterpiece. So yeah, and apparently it's fire from the thumbnail, so, uh-huh, alright, I'll stop, let's check it out, I'm just too excited, and it's cold in here, so, don't mind me, but yeah, I'm about fucking, I got a whole bunch more to put on this thing, but anyway, it's a work in progress, get it. All the stupid lies and the stupid games left to fake and see. The only thing I did. I read like somebody's thumbnail, it just said it was a little more. Feels like slower, you know, like. I'm gonna try and listen in. I feel power ballad. I gotta pay attention to the lyrics, Mark. So it's progressing a little bit. That really distant scream in the background. This mix just right. Impactful. So, I don't know if it's as much as his memories he wants to burn or... So how do I Parts of the past of him. Things he's done. Terminator ain't got shit on him. Like with how chaotic and shit everything's been for me and it's coming back around, it's just 
gotta power through the bad to appreciate the good, you know. Not saying that's what this is talking about at all, but I, it was like perfect timing for this song to come out, you know. I don't know if he's getting at, like he feels bad for all the hurt he's brought to others. Or if he feels bad just with how a lot of things have went, but without those things he wouldn't be able to write another masterpiece like I'm just so lost and obviously it's there's some demons at play but okay, so there's gonna be so many different interpretations of the song I think I'm curious to know what his like personal one is whether it's out there or not that's his own deal I don't think he needs to if he doesn't want to but I think that this song will touch home to so many different people and just make him not feel alone, you know? Like, everybody looks up to how much they've been blown up and he's this crazy, iconic person, you know? That I've kind of been saying this whole time, but nobody wanted to listen till the last couple of years, but it's neither here nor there. Um, fuck, where's he going? Squirrel? Oh yeah, but he, he's just human too, like everybody else. We have our shit days, we have our good days. I just love how it doesn't really matter what he makes. Man, that's really just got me mind fucked now. I, I <laughs> need to look more... I just gotta read the lyrics, okay. 100% without being lost in the video, which it's a good video, but I like how it's more basic because it's supposed to, I think, emphasize the words, you know. Lyrics, like, supposed to really hit here. Yeah. I mean, obviously it means something to him. But anyway, I'll be back with more vids. Let me know what you think of this video down in the description. Below, I will have the link for the original song and their album, Scoring the End of the World. You can pre-order their album. comes out June 10th. Go see them live. They're touring. I'm sure if he's got an album coming out, it's gonna happen past the Trinity of Terror, which was a really good, really good show, by the way. So, yeah. I'm excited to see what else this dude has. We'll be checking it all out, I guarantee you, on here. And I'll be getting more videos up as I go. It'll be a lot some days and might take a day or two, but it's just my busy work schedule, but I'll. We'll get on top of it. Until next time, this is Eric Inc.